think we have good intentions, but the thing that I want to talk to you tonight about is the annexation of the Grail property. And having sat through some meetings and also watched a lot of meetings online, I've seen that the consensus, except for maybe Mr. Butler, is that this property is going to be developed anyway. And if we're going to have some control over how it's developed, we need to annex it into the city. And so that's kind of where I want to start, because I feel like that is a bit of a false choice that we are presented with as citizens. And the reason I say that is because I've done some research. And that's the way I roll. Whatever it is I'm involved in, I do a lot of research. So once I heard that, I thought, OK, so the Grail property wants to be annexed into Loveland. And there's a reason they want to be annexed. And the reason is they need our services. They need our sewer, and they need our water. And that's the driving force and the reason that they're asking for the annexation. So I contacted Miami Township and their administrator, who's Jeff Wright. You probably all know him. And he told me that in order to have that property um, get services, which would be from Claremont County sewer and water, um, they would have to provide, or they would have to get Claremont County to approve of or provide the services for sewer and water. And what I learned from, from Jeff is that was going to be really expensive because of where the sewer and water lines currently end. So he suggested I contact Claremont County, so I did. And the guy I talked to there, his name is Heath Wilson, and he works in the sewer and water resources department. And what he told me is the cost to put sewer and water from where the sewer and water ends currently in Claremont County to that property would be really expensive. And I said, well, what's really expensive? And I said, is it hundreds of thousands of dollars? Is it millions of dollars? You know, what's really expensive? And he said it would be hundreds of thousands of dollars for Claremont County to add that section with sewer and water. And that's what you need when you're gonna develop a property. You need sewer and you need water. So he told me hundreds of thousands of dollars to bring a lot there. And in addition, it would probably also take a pumping station, which because of the way the land is, they would probably need a pumping station as well. And that in and of itself costs 350,000. So that's where these costs get really out of line. So Grailville, I think, sees that that won't happen. They, no developer can afford that kind of cost. So they're coming to Loveland, hoping that they can do this for less money, right? There's no other reason that they might do that. So they've come to Loveland. And so now you've been petitioned to determine whether it's feasible to do that, or if it makes sense for, for Loveland to do that. And I hope that when you're making decisions, the question always is, is this good for Loveland? Is this good for our citizens, right? I mean, I, I know you've all, those of you who are wondering your politicking and you're saying, you know, we want to listen to the citizens. So you have to ask, is this good for the citizens? Or how is it good for the citizens? Is it or is it not? So I would like to argue that maybe it isn't good for the citizens. Um, but going back to whether we should annex or not, the question is, if Loveland chooses, because the decision is Loveland's, you can say yes or no. You aren't required to annex. You have a choice to make a yes or a no. And if you say no, we're not going to annex, then the likelihood is that property stays as is. Nothing will change, OK? Because the cost for Claremont County to bring the facilities in is too prohibitive. So we're left with what we have, which is a lot of land with very little um, density and very little traffic associated with it. And in my mind, that's advantageous to us versus having 250 houses on 100 acres, OK? So that would be my argument. Now, you're, you're saying that if we don't do this, then we don't have any control of what happens, because that's been the argument I continue to hear. And what I've learned is if you and your attorney can speak to this, and there's lots of attorneys on the panel, 
Um, Loveland has an opportunity to annex this property whenever they choose, okay? So if you don't annex it now, that doesn't mean you'll never have an opportunity to do so. If you look at section 709.16 in the Ohio Revised Code, you will see that if, if Loveland would petition um, the county, Claremont County, to annex at any time, the language is, it shall be annexed. And shall is mandatory language. So if you choose at a later date to do that, then you could. This is so good. I'll give you 30 seconds to wrap up. We're well over the five minutes. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate it. So my, my argument to you tonight is that I don't see that there is any hurry to do this. I think Mr. Butler has made some really good points about why we should do it, why we shouldn't. There's certainly traffic problems already in Loveland. And if we annex and have 250 houses on this property without doing anything to deal with traffic, we're really creating more problem that already exists. So I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your time. Um, if you have any questions of me, I'd be happy to take them.